Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something super interesting, custom ROMs. Maybe you've heard about them, maybe not. But by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what a custom ROM is, why it might be a game changer for you in 2024, and how you can flash one on your device. So, let's get started. Part 1. What is a custom ROM? All right, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a custom ROM? Think of your phone like a car. When you buy a car, it comes with its own set of features, style, and performance settings. Just like your phone comes with its own operating system, OS, usually Android if you're not using an iPhone. Now, a custom ROM is like taking your car to a custom shop where they tweak everything, paint job, engine, interior, to fit your exact needs and style. So, in phone terms, a custom ROM is a modified version of the Android operating system. It's built by developers who aren't the official manufacturers, which means it can have different features, better performance, or even a whole new look compared to the standard Android OS that came with your phone. Example, imagine you have an old Android phone that's running slow. The manufacturer has stopped updating it, but you still love the phone. Installing a custom ROM is like giving that phone a fresh start. New features, better speed, and in some cases, even better battery life. Part 2. Why use a custom ROM in 2024? So, why would you want to use a custom ROM in 2024? Good question. Performance boost. Let's say you're using an older device, maybe from 2018 or 2019. The latest official Android updates might make your phone slow, or maybe you're not getting any updates at all. A custom ROM can give your phone a new lease on life by optimizing it for better speed and responsiveness. Bloatware-free experience. Many phones come loaded with apps you don't need and can't uninstall. This is called bloatware. Custom ROMs usually come with none of that, giving you a cleaner and faster experience. Extended features. Want features that your current OS doesn't support? Custom ROMs often come with extra customization options, advanced privacy settings, and sometimes even features that the latest Android version doesn't offer. Stay up to date. Even if your phone's manufacturer has stopped supporting your device, custom ROMs can bring you the latest Android version, keeping your phone fresh and secure. Better battery life. Some custom ROMs are optimized for battery performance, so you might get a few extra hours out of your phone on a single charge. Some good options in 2024. Lineage OS, one of the most popular and stable custom ROMs out there. It's close to the stock Android experience, but with more control and fewer unnecessary apps. CRD Roid, this ROM is known for its customization options and stability, making it a favorite for those who want a feature-rich experience without compromising performance. Evolution X. This ROM is packed with features and customization options, all while maintaining stability and smoothness, making it a top choice for power users. Part 3. How to flash a custom ROM. Now let's talk about how to actually flash a custom ROM on your device. It might sound complicated, but I'll break it down step by step. Step 1. Back up your data. Before you do anything, Make sure to back up all your important data, contacts, photos, apps, everything. Flashing a custom ROM will wipe your phone clean. Step two, unlock the bootloader. Most Android devices come with a locked bootloader for security reasons. You'll need to unlock it to flash a custom ROM. The process varies by device, so check a guide specific to your phone model. Usually, it involves enabling developer options, turning on OEM unlocking, and using an ADB command to unlock the bootloader. Step 3. Install a custom recovery. After unlocking the bootloader, you'll need to install a custom recovery like TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project. This is the tool that will allow you to flash the ROM. You can usually install TWRP through ADB, or if your phone is rooted, through a dedicated app. Step four, download the custom ROM. Next, download the custom ROM you want to flash. Make sure it's compatible with your device. 
You can find these ROMs on sites like XDA Developers. Once downloaded, transfer the ROM file, usually a .zip file, to your phone. Step 5. Flash the ROM boot your phone into recovery mode, usually by holding the volume down plus power buttons. In TWRP, select Wipe and wipe the cache, data, and system. Then go back to the main menu, select Install, find your ROM file, and swipe to confirm. Your ROM will start installing. Step 6. Reboot and Setup. After the ROM is installed, reboot your device. The first boot might take a little longer. Set up your phone like a brand new device and you're good to go.